<laughs> Hi, Alex from Rush. We're listening to Limelight from Moving Pictures, which is 40 years old now? No, is it really? No. It feels like 40 years, but I think it's been about 30 years. No, it's been about 35 years. No, it's actually 31 years. No, is it 36 years? Anyways, it was a long time ago that we wrote this record. And uh, this song, I think, is probably one of my favorites from it. Really enjoyed recording it. Um, I can remember being at the studio. Uh, it was winter, very cold winter, as they all are in, in uh, Quebec. Uh, but I do remember sitting in the control room, working on this song during the day with the sun outside and all the snow. And uh, particularly, um, the lead, but we'll come to that when that part comes. We were there in, we started in December of 1980. And uh, it was such a great vibe making this record. We had so much fun, everybody was in a great space. We'd done most of the writing, uh, in the summer, so we were well prepared, we were well rehearsed. We actually shot the videos for, uh, for all these songs um, there at the studio, which sadly has been abandoned and is uh, derelict now. All the windows are smashed, doors ripped off. It's really a, a sad thing to see. So many great memories. Of course, I can't remember any of them right now, but... Um, it was a lot of fun. I'm stalling now because we're coming up to the solo after this uh, chorus. And I remember recording the solo because we had speakers set up outside to catch the, the delays and some echo. And uh, let's see, I used my hand tour, I believe, for a lot of the song and my uh, 355 for all for you gearheads. I really uh, am proud of this solo. Um, it was done in about five or six takes, and then it was uh, we did a compilation of those takes to arrive at what we have. But what really uh, moves me about the solo is its um, lonely character, which really fits the the mood and tone of the lyrics that Neil wrote about this song, and. Um, it's a very elastic kind of solo and just moves around and uh, the delays kind of cascade and overlap and, um, and it ends with a, a, at a very high point, literally a high point, very high on the E string at the top of the, the, uh, the neck. Um, so it's a very dynamic build. Uh, the song structurally is typical of a verse chorus, verse chorus, middle section, which is the solo, and then the outro choruses um, that keep building and building as you go. So I, I think it was a, a really an emotional song for all of us to do. Uh, and playing it live for all these years has been a real treat. Uh, one of my favorites, we've opened a couple of tours uh, with it, um, which was a nice way to start you know, all things considered, because he's playing in front of thousands of people. Anyways, that was Limelight. Hi, Alex here. No, I'm Giddy Lee, and I can see whatever I want to. This song, <laughs> we had a video done for uh, for the tour, for the live uh, presentation. The fly, and anybody that ever saw us would know about this, but. I'll kind of demonstrate it. So at, this, at one point in the song, which I can't remember where it happened, bought five, we had 24 flash pots, so you go, bomb, 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 bomb. It all happened like within, psh, I don't know, five seconds. It was all over. <laughs> There'd be 